Praise the Lord everyone. My name is Minister Justin Dillard. I would like to go ahead and get started by praying. Then I will play a song, read the scripture. And our scripture, just to tell you ahead of time, is coming from 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 through 18 with an emphasis on verses 16 through 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 through 18, with an emphasis, and we're going to be focusing on verses 16 through 18. Let us vow for a brief moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in your word, it says in Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by your name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, then will you hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal the land. Right now, Lord, we just pray, Lord, that we will all govern ourselves accordingly to seek you with our whole heart, to love you beyond measure. Lord, we thank you for loving us unconditionally. Lord, we thank you for giving us your best. Lord, we thank you for putting it all on the line. Lord, we thank you for laying down yourself in order to Please, your Father, Lord, we thank you for surrendering everything to your Father's will. Lord, we thank you for not becoming distracted. Lord, we thank you for showing us how to be unbothered. Lord, we thank you for showing us and being the ultimate unblemished sacrifice and showing us how to weather every storm. Lord, we thank you that you allowed nothing to get underneath your skin. And Lord, we give you all the praise and the honor and the glory for everyone who will be listening to this message, who will be hearing this prayer. I pray that you will please be with them in this time, Lord, this uncertain time, this unprecedented time, Lord, this unknowing time, Lord, we should know you no matter what time it is. Lord, we thank you for giving us the opportunity, Lord, to spend time with family. Lord, we have so much to thank you for. I'm reminded by today's scripture in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. It states, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Lord, we just thank you. We cannot thank you enough. If we had 10,000 tongues, we could not praise you with everyone. Lord, we thank you for parents, Lord. We thank you for grandparents. We thank you for children, Lord. We thank you for life. We thank you for breath. Lord, we thank you for how you are sustaining us, how you're keeping us clothed in our right minds. Lord, when it seems as if all chaos is going on around us, Lord, we thank you for stealing our inward peace, Lord, and giving us an inward peace, Lord. We give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. And Lord, I thank you for blessing me with this message. I thank you for blessing me with this prayer. I thank you for all that you're doing for me and all that you're doing for my family, my friends, and everyone in the surrounding area and community. Lord, we thank you for allowing this service to take, for, to take force and to move forward by your Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and I pray, amen, amen, and amen. Lord, thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for being a forgiving God. Thank you for being a loving God. Yes, Lord, if it's someone that's out there that needs to ask for forgiveness, Lord, here's a time for them to repent. 
Here's a time for them to ask you to set them free. Here's a time for them to rejoice and thank the Lord for what he's already doing and what he's about to do in their life and how he's going to change them, how he's going to make them wiser, how he's going to make them stronger, how he's going to give them increase, how he's going to teach them how to be obedient, how he's going to teach them how to serve him, how he's going to teach them how to love others, how he's going to teach them how to be caring and compassionate for others. Amen. We just thank the Lord for Jesus. And everyone said amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. He's coming back soon. He's coming back soon. I'd like to go ahead and read the scripture. First Thessalonians. The fifth chapter, verses 1 through 18, and it reads, First of all, I'd like to thank the Lord for Dr. Maria Watkins blessing us with that song, Soon, from her album, Soon. Praise the Lord and thank the Lord for Dr. Maria Watkins, my cousin, giving us the opportunity to play her music and to celebrate with her. Praise the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 through 18. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. That means Jesus is going to come suddenly when we least expect it. Some people say quicker than a New York minute. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. That means we should be vigilant, watchful. We should be ready. Are you ready? Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober in our right minds. Praise the Lord. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. Salvation is the total work that God did in order to redeem us, for us to return back to Him and be reconciled with Him and God's plan was Jesus. Praise the Lord. God's plan was Jesus. By our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with Him. That's what our main focus should be on. Whether we wake or sleep, we should be with Him. That's who we should be focused on pleasing. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you. That means... You must fellowship with someone to know them. You must be around them to know them. When you know someone, that means you know if something's bothering them, if something is, is, is wrong or something's going well, or you should know them by their fruits. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. 
Sometimes we think we know somebody and, and we don't. And to esteem them very highly, lift up people in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. When we love people, we treat them like we love them. And when we show respect for people, that helps them to work better. And they can work That makes them want to trust us. And buy in to what we're saying, praise the Lord. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. No one wants to be rebuked or reproached or corrected these days. Comfort the feeble-minded. There are many people who are going through loss of loved ones in every season. So we have much to do. God is telling the people what to do and how to do it. Through God's messenger, Paul. Support the weak. Those who are strong ought to bear the infirmity of the weak. That's what um, Romans 15 states. Be patient toward all men. I need to say it one more time. Be patient towards all men. Jesus was patient. Praise the Lord. That's the that's fruit of the Spirit. Toward all men. See that none renders evil for evil unto any man. Don't get back. Vengeance is mine. That says the Lord. But every follow, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Verse 16. Rejoice evermore. When's the last time we've rejoiced? Pray without ceasing. That means continually. Pray before you go. Pray on the way and pray when you get there. And pray when you need to pray and pray when you don't feel it's necessary to pray. I've heard a pastor say that they pray. He prayed for a parking spot that was close to where he was at. We should be praying for others and not ourselves all the time should not be self-centered but god-centered jesus-centered christ-centered and everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you when's the last time we given thanks for the small thing for the big things things could be worse It says, in everything, give thanks, whether we feel good, whether we don't feel good, whether we're up, whether we're down. That is someone that's going to decide. There's a song, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. What have we decided? Amen. Sometimes we get stuck in our ways. We decide to do what we're going to do regardless of the outcome. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad that Jesus decided to come and save a sin-sick world from themselves, from sin, from the devil, from turmoil from chaos from people going bunkers and nuts aren't you glad aren't you glad to be a part of the family of God praise the Lord I'm just so excited today and everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you this is what God wants he wants us to Give thanks. This is his will. The Lord has a will. There's a song, and I have a need to follow that will, to humbly be still, to rest in it, nest in it, fully be blessed in it, fathering my father's will. That's a song by um, Amy Grant. Praise the Lord. Oh, so this is this is a really good word. I would like to go ahead 
and state the title. The title is, It's All Because of Jesus. It's All Because of Jesus. That was a song by Andre Crouch. But I would like to go ahead and read what this pastor typed out years ago, and I kept it with me. It says, I am thankful for the wife who says it's hot dogs tonight because she is home with me and not out with someone else. For the husband who is on the sofa being a couch potato because he is home with me and not out with, not out at the bars. For the teenager who is complaining about doing dishes because that means she is at home or he is at home and, and not on the streets. For family and friends in my life. For the taxes that I pay because it means that I am employed. For the mess to clean up after a party because it means that I've been surrounded by friends. For the clothes that fit a little too snug because it means that I have enough to eat. For my shadow that watches me work because it means I am out in the sunshine. For a lawn that needs mowing, windows that need cleaning, and gutters that need fixing because it means I have a home. For all the complaining I hear about the government because it means that we have freedom of speech. For the parking spot I find at the far end of the parking lot because it means I am capable of walking and that I have been blessed with transportation. For my huge heating bill because it means I am warm. For the lady behind me in church who sings off key because it means I can hear. For the pile of laundry and ironing because it means I have clothes to wear. For weariness and aching muscles at the end of the day because I have been capable of working hard for the alarm that goes off in the early morning hours because it means that I am alive. And finally, for too much email because it means I have friends who are thinking of me. Praise the Lord. And that's from a pastor that I received I'm um, a, a former pastor of mine who gave that to me years ago, and I kept it. Praise the Lord. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Verse number 16. We're in 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice evermore. There's a song, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, again I say rejoice. Rejoice in where? In who? The Lord. We should be rejoicing everywhere and anywhere, praise the Lord. Because God has given us fresh air to breathe and a reason to rejoice. Pray without ceasing. Amen. Pray on the way. Pray before you go. Pray while you're going. And pray when you get there. Praise the Lord. And pray while you're there. Pray before you go. Before you return. On the way to your destination. And when you get home, pray. Amen. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Concerning you, there's a scripture in Romans 8, 28. 
For we know that all things work together for the good to them who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We have grounds to praise God. We have a right to praise him. Do you mean I am going to just sit here and be silent when I know how great God has been to me? Do you mean I am too sedity, sophisticated, uppity, or dignified to hide his light under a bushel? No. Do we have selective praise? I saw this lady shake and twirl her hair, weave as if it was nunchucks. She was shaking it and shaking it and shaking it and shaking it and shaking it. She didn't care. When we see people praising God, some of us are like, that is none of our business. Others may stare. But if we were too busy focused on Jesus and getting a connection with him, we would be too busy tapping into his presence that we would know that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. That's what the text said. We give whatever it is our undivided attention. My eyes were glued to the television watching the Florida State Florida game on yesterday. Does Jesus have us shaken up that we place everything on hold until we get through? Have you ever tried to get through to, a, to customer service to rectify a problem? Jesus is not like Mr. Telephone Man or Telephone Woman. When it was time for the seven priests to blow the ram's horn and, and for the people to shout when they were already given a victory of Jericho, all they had to do was follow directions, be disciplined, and obey God. When it is time to obey, it is not time to play. I said, when it is time to obey God, it is not time to play. When we desire something, we want it immediately. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. There is nothing wrong with his line. His line is never too busy. Jesus never hangs up on us. Jesus is not like the operator. He won't get an attitude or have mood swings. I give Jesus praise out of necessity. That's point number one. Give Jesus praise out of necessity. I praise him because he is Jesus. I praise Jesus because I know he will work it out. I praise Jesus because he has already worked it out. I must praise Jesus because I got to get a prayer through. I must praise Jesus. Listen, I remember I needed a breakthrough. I would let go of my job and I needed a job. I remember I praised God as if I lost my mind. What would you do if the Lord told you to praise him right where you're at in order to get your breakthrough? Would you stop everything and lift Jesus up? The song says lift Jesus higher, lift Jesus higher, lift him up for the world to see. He said if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. I was about to apply for food stamps and the Holy Spirit told me to contact the employer that I worked for a year ago. And I was let go from that employer. 
because they did not have the funds. It was a private school. And I set aside my pride. And I applied and I applied myself and I called that employer. And I was hired on the spot. And this is when I was in central living in Central Florida and this job was in Tallahassee. See, it was less than 24 hours that God turned it around. He turned it around right then and there. I praise God prior to calling that boss, that former boss. In closing, the song by Andre Crouch, it's all because of Jesus, and that's the title. We have all gathered here. We've come from far. And we've come from near just to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Praise God, praising God for what he has done and all the victories we've already won. I want to thank God that we are here. And it's all because of Jesus. Everything that I have is because of Jesus. I want to let the world know Jesus. He's the reason I am here. I thank you, Jesus. I come to praise you, Jesus. We are here. Oh, hallelujah. We give him the honor. We give him the praises. We are here. We are here. Are you here? We are here. All because of Jesus. All because of Jesus. All because of Jesus. We are here. Because of his blessings. All his bountiful blessings. We are here. Since I am here, I'm going to praise his name. Since you are here, I think you should do the same. Since we are here together, let us praise his name. Because of Jesus, we are here. It's all because of Jesus. It's all because of Jesus. It's all because of Jesus we are here. He's coming back soon. He's coming back soon. He's coming back soon. Let us bow for a brief moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for blessing us with this message. I ask that you will please bless your people. Touch that one that's out there that may not know which direction to travel. The direction is Jesus. We have a need for Jesus. As we see the world in complete chaos, so many things are going on in the schools. So many things are going on in the grocery stores. So many things are going on in the communities. So many things are going on in the family. <coughs> we need Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. This is not the time to reject Jesus and neglect Jesus. It's all because of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We're here because of Jesus. And I thank the Lord for you all taking the time out to tune in to another message. I give the Lord all the praise and the honor and the glory for those who have supported this ministry. I thank the Lord for you. For those who have decided to give their lives to Jesus right now, first of all, you must repent, you must be set free and born again from whatever is holding you back from moving forward. It's all because of Jesus. It's all because of Jesus. Not because of us, but it's all because of Jesus. Not because of our cell phone. Not because of our careers or our jobs. Not because of our friends, but it's all because of Jesus. It's all because of Jesus. We are here. Praise the Lord. It's not because of our alarm clock, but it's all about Jesus. Amen. I encourage you to read that scripture over again where it was talking about Paul was urging the people what to do and how to live while they're waiting on Jesus. I encourage you to read that scripture over again. In Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter, verses 1 through 18. In the morning, in the in the um, noonday, at night, 
Remember, rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So we must repent. We must believe in Jesus. And we must serve Jesus and believe that he came, lived, and died. And God raised him from the dead. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Now to the benediction. May the Lord bless and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. And everyone said amen, amen, and amen.